My name is Anders and I have founded three different vertical farms growing microgreens, mushrooms and a variety of other produce and I have created the businesses to do in excess of over 1 million euro each year in revenue. So together with my team for six years we've been on this journey and I want to share some parts of the journey with you. So here are some of my biggest takeaways from how the journey has been. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are growing your own microgreens and if you are in business not to have any investors but to grow organically and you know that it's not about the capital but it's about the resources, it's about resourceful and being able to get the most out of your resources as possible. Um, you are bootstrapping your own microgreen farm just like we did. Like bootstrapping means that you are essentially not taking in any investors before it gets to a point where it's in interesting for you to have investors on board. Um, this video is specifically made for you because I want to share the first five years of our journey, how it was and yeah, how you can expect the journey to be if you choose to grow microgreens or maybe you're already growing microgreens and you hit some specific wall and hopefully I can help you get through it. So the first year of being in a microgreen business is uh, it's awesome. It's like everything is new, it's exciting, all, all the time there's something new to learn, something new to do and um, you kind of like go on this journey and it's, it's interesting and yeah a lot of different positive emotions are arriving in that stage. It's just awesome to do something new, you are in the process of uh, maybe going from another career path to growing microgreens and you start feeling the calmness and the relaxation of working with microgreens, working with produce, working with some customers and figuring those customers are actually really nice and you like to communicate with them and work with them and it's just an awesome time. Then the second year starts and at some point in the second year you're gonna experience what we call the, the, the wall because um, it can be in the beginning of the second year or it could be in the end of the second year but 95% of the times you're gonna hit it and you're gonna be like does this make sense? I'm working. Do I even get anything out of from this? Um, I am working a lot, but I also see some profits coming in. But now the routine starts. Now it gets normalized and it's not as exciting and new and fun. In the beginning, it's exciting, it's new, it's fun. But then at some point, it just gets daily routine. And then you have to find some way to cope with that, that it's not new, it's not exciting in the same way that it was in the beginning. And when you hit this, then this is usually where most people quit. This is where the most people say to themselves, this doesn't make sense, I'm gonna do something else. And then they find some new exciting thing to start and to go over. And then the, the cycle, essentially just repeats itself and that's why we see a lot of people starting a lot of projects doing it for some time and then stopping it and finding a new project i have been like that for many years i'm still like that uh, it's difficult for me to stop it but getting to the point of actually also finishing what you start is an important lesson to learn because if you don't do that you're never gonna finish anything and you're just gonna hop from one thing to the next to the next and this is the, the, the mentality of the second year, I think, what you have to, to win um, and win over yourself in that sense. So after the second year, that's probably the worst year, you get to year three. And year three is where things are loosening up. You start uh, having a reputation, people start knowing you, trusting you, liking you. So there's more customers that in the beginning didn't want your product now suddenly wants your product because they see okay this girl or this guy really knows their stuff and they have a reputation now for doing what they say they are gonna do and from that point on it gets a lot easier to do because people have already heard about you people know you are not a like a, in Denmark we say a doinflu, like a, um, 
you're not like a fly that dies uh, in 24 hours. You actually survive the hardest part and people start respecting you for that. You start having your reputation up. And this is where you have more customers, more clients. You have much more things to organize as well. You have to manage people in different ways from this point on as well. And this is where it gets more complicated. This is where having a team in place is very essential. Having the right kind of employees put in the right kind of position that are essential to your company's growth. This is where it's all going to make or break you because if you haven't organized yourself the right way then you are going to do all the work and then you are going to break down because now you just work three years without having that much in salary without having that much to yourself and if you don't set it up from the beginning in a sense that you can uh, make this shift then you're going to encounter a lot of hardships on the third year as well because of that and then when you i think when you hit the fourth year it's really becoming a fun thing to do like you're really gonna have a lot of fun with it you're gonna now have to put in a lot of systems in place to make sure that you don't do manual labor that doesn't make sense to do that it's organized in a way that it runs more or less automatically your order flow is optimized your um, production is set up in a way that when you get orders you also know how to maintain those orders how to deliver them and how to uh, do all of this with a lot of clients with like hundreds of clients and at this point um, you can make mistakes but the more mistakes you make uh, the, the, the more expensive they are as well so uh, when you get to this stage whenever you make a m mistake it's hitting you a lot harder than it is in the beginning that's why it's very important for you to make as many mistakes in the beginning as possible and get a lot of feedback loop from your customers knowing what uh, is important and just taking these things into account because in your fifth year it's going to you're going to have amassed the capital if you do like we did on the third year we actually chose to reinvest all of our profits into a bigger facility um, and then took two years of uh, not paying ourselves that much again so but then when you get to the fifth year like we are now um, it's just a fun journey it's just awesome because uh, you're gonna have, be able to organize everything you're gonna be able to set up everything and as you can see here now I am in uh, the Alps right now I've been here for eight weeks and I am able to take off from my company while my partners and our employees, our awesome employees and my awesome partners are taking all the work at home while I can be here, uh, go for hiking, go for biking, golfing, do whatever I basically like to do um, and then work from on the company in a different way. Um, so. This has been our journey of going from the first year to the fifth year. I hope that this uh, cleared up some things for you. But if you need further explanation, we also do mentorships where we coach people in setting up the right kind of employees. When should you set them up? How should you set them up? Who should you focus on the first? And basically systematizing everything so you don't have to do it and you can focus on doing the actions instead of doing all of the work by researching and developing what someone else already have done for you so if you're interested in that there's a link in the description of this video that shows you and explain this to you in greater detail but i hope you got some value from this and i hope that you're going to succeed and have great success with your own farm because growing microgreens is awesome it's adding awesome juice to your life and you are going to have an awesome experience doing it no matter what